Hello everybody, my name is Trina and a medical cannabis patient living in California. I partake in cannabis for my PTSD and arthritis in both my knees and ankle, um, for social anxiety, and there's other things that I partake in this wonderful herb for. And if you'd like to find out more information about that, you can just go to the videos previous to these and it talks to you more in depth about why I like this herb so much. So um, I used to have this show called Cannabis and Movies on another channel that I have called Dark Moon Doll, but I decided to, to switch it over to here permanently to the productive cannabis connoisseur because that's what this channel is all about. It's all about cannabis. So um, I'm going to review the movie Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. So, <laughs> get ready for that, guys. Uh-oh, where's my lighter? Here it is. I'm going to show you what I'm smoking out of today. This is a pipe my husband made. It's made out of cop a copper pipe, an actual copper pipe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And he had one of these uh, ready to go. He just drilled a hole in it. And it smokes really well. Today I'm smoking... Uh, I don't know if you guys do this, if you ever get this low on funds where you run completely out of cannabis and money for cannabis that you have saved. <laughs> they call them the roaches, right? You save the uh, roaches and like sometimes there's half of it's been uh, burned only, so the, the rest of it's still good. <laughs> I know it sounds gross probably and it doesn't smell as good as fresh bud. But when you don't have anything else, this is what you got. It's still strong, but it's not as fresh. So, <laughs> cheers to that, I guess. I mean, there's got to be other cannabis smokers out there that, you know, that aren't like rich suburban peoples. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> cheers. Okay, so anyway, if you've never seen this show before, basically Cannabis in Movies is a show where I review a movie that has cannabis within the movie. It could be somebody just off on the side smoking a joint. But what I want to do is expose why Holly Weird is portraying uh, cannabis in this light, uh, or dark I should say, as, uh, you know, lazy no good slackers in every, just about every movie that I've reviewed so far. I look back at my other past reviews and you'll see that, that there's a pattern. And it's the same, pretty much same message. And this movie I'm reviewing today isn't any different. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. So this movie was, it was made in 2001. Uh, you know who Kevin Smith is, of course. Well, if you don't know who Kevin Smith is, he's Silent, he plays Silent Bob in the duo of Jay and Silent Bob. He's also, uh, a cartoon artist as well, which I found out later on <laughs> after seeing this movie. So IMDb gives it IMDb, which is a source that I like to go to every now and then, uh, just to get a little bit of a, a summary of the story. <laughs> Sometimes when I watch these movies, it's just kind of like they're all over the place. So to some degree, it's hard to summarize it all. <laughs> So they describe it as the comic Blunt Man and Chronic is based on real life stoners, Jay and Silent Bob. So when they when they get no profit from a big screen adaptation, they set out to wreck the movie. So it's directed by Kevin Smith, written by Kevin Smith, starring Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes, which I I assume is Jay, and then Ben Affleck. And there's a Affleck, I'm sorry. <laughs> stupid commercials. I don't have cable anymore, so I don't have to worry about commercials. So anyway, this movie, um, where do I begin with it? There's just so much shit that was going on in there. And like I said in other reviews, it seems like with these kind of movies with cannabis in them, they just got to pile a whole bunch of crap in there because they feel like, um, cannabis partakers are short attention span, like all of them. Not all of them are. Some people are. 
But this movie, it just was going all over the place. It showed the beginning where, um, when they're little kids in their little strollers, one of the moms, Jay's mom, was a prostitute. She's going into the corner store to see if she can round up some business. And she's saying the word fuck, fuck, fuck all the time to the baby. And then Silent Bob, the other mom, just left him there. And then as they grow up, it, it's trying to like explain why Jay is so crass and cusses all the time and Bob is silent. So, I mean, so basically if you haven't seen Clerks, this is like Clerks, okay, there was a Clerks 2, right? This is like Clerks 3. Because all, just about all the people that were in Clerks, then they had Mallrats, uh, Shannon Dur Doherty turned up in there, Wes, Res, Wes Craven, God, I can't talk, wow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It was just like, bam, bam, star here, star here. Um, so basically, like this, the explanation for IMDb said, is basically they're, these two, they're, they find out that uh, this guy made a movie about them without telling them about it. So he goes and tries to hunt the guy down, they find him, they end up uh, sneaking into the movie. Chris Rock is directing the movie, and he's playing the stereotypical black guy. Um, when is there smoking of, of cannabis in the movie? <laughs> There's like so much shit going on. There's talk of smoking, you know, but there's not much smoking going on. <laughs> Gee, in my stoner mind, did I forget the scenes where they were smoking? At this point, it's irrelevant, because it's just like, it's like they're just doing more talk than smoking anyway. <laughs> Cheers to that. And just like Scary Movie when I reviewed that, they like like to make, pay homage to the great movies before, within this movie, like the, uh, <laughs> what do I want to say Cherry Pie, the American Pie movie, um, they had that guy and I think his name's Jason Biggs or something like that, and then they had the Vanderbeek guy from Dawson's Creek and playing them as a blunt man and <laughs> chronic. It was stupid. It was so stupid. There's all these jokes about uh, homosexuality, uh, saying the gay word all over, time, all over and over. Being, you know, it's just like all these innuendos about doing homosexual activities. It was just disgusting. <laughs> I'm not saying homosexuals are disgusting. I'm just talking about this movie's disgusting. Because um, it just makes fun of shit that, that's not really funny to me. You know, I mean, what's funny about... Jeez, uh, you gotta watch it. I mean, this is one... This one is hard to review because it's just all over the place. Of course, lots of sexism. They had uh, these women in there. They're pos posing as people who are animal rights activists that are going to be saving some... Um, chimpanzee from the zoo or from this lab and so they uh use them you know as pawns and he falls in love with one of the girls and the and it's just like it's kind of stupid because all of a sudden what they really wanted to do was rob the place next door of their diamonds <laughs> so they're just using these dumb stoners to do their to be able to commit their crimes oh my god Wow, that's really nice. It's a classic. <laughs> classic weed. Classic cannabis. <laughs> this movie sucks, okay? I mean, granted, like all cannabis movies with cannabis in them, there's a uh, funniness going on. But can they ever make a movie where uh, cannabis partakers aren't seen in this light? Like gullible and just sex crazed all the time i mean somehow at one point in the movie they ended up in this van hitchhiking 
and ended up being, you know, the mystery machine with Scooby-Doo and the crew. And um, that was when they smoked the cannabis. <laughs> See, I couldn't even remember when they smoked it, but that was when. <laughs> and after they smoked it, they looked at, uh, you know, you see Shaggy, the guy playing Shaggy, calling up all over the, uh, the van, the mystery van, and licking it or whatever. And then here's Velma and Daphne with their shirts off and just their bras on and skirts on, dancing around. I mean, ay yeah, yeah, and that's when they did, they smoked the pot and that's what they saw. There you go again with cannabis being this outlet for like really strange fantasies and hallucinations and shit. <laughs> so when you work this pipe, you have to put, you have to cup it like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> So this movie sucked, if I haven't said that already, it sucked. I mean, yeah, there's funny parts in there. They had the guy, Mark Hamill from uh, Star Wars in there. Some weird ass Yu-Gi-Oh or Dragon Ball Z hair. It was bright and fluorescent. He had this crazy ass lifesaver and stuff. And then uh, Silent Bob was fighting him <laughs> and he had, <laughs> His lifesaver was a bong. It was, that part was funny. I gotta admit that. So that's, that's the thing they do, Hollyweird. You can't rely on Hollyweird to bring about any positive images of one, people who smoke cannabis, two, of black people, because Chris Rock was crazy in that. And that's what they expect. He's like a dancing minstrel, you know. A lot of these black comedians are. They don't really have to be this over the top to be funny, but they do it because that's what Hollywood expects of them. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this movie was crap. It had some moments in there that were funny. Oh, whoa, that was really strong. <laughs> but like I said, nothing's really changed since 2001. This is 2000, that was 2001, it's 2015, and they're still making stupid ass movies like this. Portraying cannabis partakers as ignorant stoners, people that aren't motivated and all they do is smell, sell cannabis. Well, you know, kudos to you if you do sell cannabis and you're profitable with it and you're doing great things for your life and friends and family in your life. Yeah. Have you ever thought of putting that in your movies, Holly Weird? Huh? No, because you don't want to portray uh, people healing themselves and feeling good about themselves. You just want to portray the agony and the downtroddenness of the world and to continue to emphasize these fucking stereotypes that I'm sick of seeing. <laughs> yeah, that was a passionate little rant there. So on that, I'm going to have a little smoke with you guys. You enjoy me with this and I'm going to end this show for today. <laughs> myself on that one so anyway guys <laughs> thank you for joining me today thank you for su subscribing if you subscribed I get it. my words are coming out faster than I can say them <laughs> thank you for for sharing this with your friends and family <laughs> and thank you for liking it and commenting I did take that comment in uh, great consideration about making 
the baking show and I did. I made a five part series on how to make cannabis chocolate chip cookies. So look at those videos guys on here as well. And the cannabis leaf dreadlock rinse is coming soon. I'm thinking maybe on Wednesday I'll show you guys what, what that's all about. <laughs> I wouldn't mind my dread smelling like cannabis. They already do anyway. But I keep them clean though. If you guys have any questions about my dreads, you can ask about that too. I don't care. I'm an open book. I've had my dreads for 18 years. Um, yeah, they'd be longer if I didn't put all kinds of like crap on it. Like mainly uh, hair dye, which was very damaging. So, for my hair. I'm not talking about anybody else. Just for my hair. So anyway, <laughs> long movie review short. Again, bring it short. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing uh, cannabis, cannabis in movies every Monday. Because that's when I did it before on Dark Moon Doll, the other channel. Please check out that channel too. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. And take care. Peace.